Here's today's In Touch Reflection on the Beatitudes. This month's reflection is based on verses 14 through 16 of Matthew chapter 5. Jesus is speaking. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Light is remarkable, yet we go about our lives hardly giving it any thought. For instance, light is a singular white beam, but it can be separated into many colors. Countless scientists have devoted their entire career to proving whether light is composed of particles or waves, yet remarkably, it's both. And when combined with water and soil, light helps life to grow. Not only that, but it moves faster than everything in the known universe. Keep these qualities in mind as you consider what it means that God calls those of us who are believers to live as children of light. He wants us to live in such a way that we can quickly and often imperceptibly illuminate dark spaces and help the world around us flourish. The goal is for our presence with family, friends, and colleagues to bring about goodness, righteousness, and truth. Think about it. Read Ephesians chapter 5, verses 7-10 through 10, and list some qualities that you know are pleasing to the Lord. What are some ways you can demonstrate goodness, righteousness, and truth? 